what's up youtube welcome to the video in this video we will discuss clean theorem part 3 rule 3 so let's begin so the title of the video is clean theorem complete part 3 rule 3 which is concatenation of two fa's so here is the part 3 rule 3 so fa means finite automata uh, while the re means regular expression and this fa1 is the name of the finite automata and this r1 is the name of the regular expression so the uh, the rule 3 says that if there is an fa called fa1 that accepts the language defined by r1 and there is an fa called fa2 that accepts the language defined by r2 if these two conditions exist then there must be a third condition which is uh, there is also an fa called fa3 that accepts the language defined by uh, r1 dot r2 which is the concatenation of the two regular expression in the next few slide we will try to prove the clean theorem part 3 rule 3 so we have given two finite automata fa1 and fa2 and we will draw a transition table with three columns to prove this theory uh, now uh, first column is the old state column and the uh, two columns are the characters present in our finite automata so we will start by writing the uh, name of the first state which is x1 of the fa1 and we will name it as z1 then we will check that from x1 when the input is a it goes to the x2 so we will write x2 over here and name it as z2 then uh, it is a uh, this is a new state so we will write it uh, in the old state column and now coming back to the old state from x1 when the input is b then it remains in the x1 so here we will write x1 equals to z1 so we would not uh, repeat the names we would uh, write uh, the x1 as z1 each time now coming to the second column which is x2 from x2 when the input is a it goes to the x3 so x3 and why is the y1 here because of this rule with final state of x or the first fa write the initial state of y or the second fa so uh, x3 was the uh, final state of uh, the first fa so we have to write we always have to write the initial state of the next fa so the initial state of the next fa so that's why we have written uh, y1 with the x3 now first of all uh, we would write the new state whenever uh, a new state comes in we have to write the new state in the old state column and then we would proceed with the uh, second column so x2 when uh, the input is p it goes inside the x1 so x1 equals to z1 and again we would not uh, choose a, a new name for the for this state because it was formed before so we would write as it is with the name z1 now coming to the third row which is x3 y1 when we are in state x3 and the input is a it remains in the x3 so here we would write x3 and when we are in state y1 and the input is a it remains in the y1 so here we would repeat x3 y1 equals to z3 and now coming back to the old state column we are in x3 and when the b arrives it remains in the x3 so x3 now y1 when the input is b it goes to the y2 
so x3 y2 and y uh, x3 y2 why we have written the y1 over here with the final state of x always write initial state of y so the x3 was a final state so we have to written the initial state of y which is y1 that's why the y1 is here now we have to write uh, this new state in the old state column and now we will proceed with this so we are in x3 when the a is input it remains in the x3 we are in y1 so when the a is input it remains in the y1 and when we are in y2 when the uh, input is a it goes back to the y1 so we would not write the uh, y1 repetitively we would write it once only so the new answer is x3 y1 and it was named before here it was named before so we would not uh, named a new z state over this x3 y1 and now coming back to the old state we are in x3 so when the uh, input is b it would remain in x3 and when we are in y1 input is b it would go to the y2 and because of this rule we have to uh, write the y1 as well so it would become the state z4 and now we have completed our transition table now to form fa3 uh, we have to decide that uh, which of these state are initial state and which of these states are final state so the uh, first state is always the initial state and we will decide uh, the final state on the basis of y so it is written that decide the initial state on the basis of x and final state on the basis of y so this is our initial state and uh, where uh, y2 comes is our uh, final state so y2 only comes in the z4 so this is our final state and now we will uh, draw our fa3 so we have drawn a short transition table from our long transition table and we are keeping only the z states and from this short transition table uh, we can draw uh, fa3 so i have drawn the circle for uh, each state the final task is to draw uh, the transition between them so uh, from z1 when the uh, input is a it goes to the z2 and when the input is b it it goes to the z1 and when we are in uh, z2 in uh, and the input is a it goes to the z3 and when the input is b it goes to the z1 and similarly we, uh, when we are in z3 uh, and the input is a it goes to the z3 and when the input is b it goes to the z4 and we are now in the z4 on the input a it goes to the z3 and on b it goes to the z4 so this is how you prove the clean theorem part 3 rule 3 that was all for the video if you like the video press the like button and do subscribe to the channel and see you next time